It's a very big box. beautiful blessed people and welcome back to my channel my name is Kelly and I am the 40 year old millennial so I am in the lab today because I am doing an unboxing and a quick demonstration of the Dyson air wrap uh, this is just came back in stock it's been out of stock for a while I couldn't wait to get my hands on it this is actually one of the longer barrel ones and they also came out with a limited edition one for their uh, relaunch of the air wrap so I'm here to bring to you a quick little unboxing and demonstration I got these curls using the air wrap but I also demonstrate how it works on a 3c 4a type curl pattern which is my natural hair so if you're ready to see that and you're interested stay tuned also check the um, description. I will be putting uh, products in the bottom and also timestamps of where you can find things. Enjoy! Welcome beautiful blessed people and welcome to the lab. I'm here because I'm in the middle of getting a deep conditioner but I wanted to come and share with you an unboxing of a new goodie that I've gotten. And here's the goodie. If you know from the description you already know what it is. I have been waiting for this to come back in stock for so long now and it's finally here. This is actually, I think, some type of a limited edition that they came out with with this color and it comes with a brush and a pad and a comb. Um, but we'll see. I've only cracked it open. I haven't opened it up yet. So let's do that together. It's a very big box. I'm excited. So, ooh. so it all is in one big box right here. Let's see if I can move that out the way. And some other boxes. I think this is the pad. long heat pad basically is what this is and this is the comb and brush that came with it too so after I get my finished with my deep conditioner I am definitely going to use this I also will leave down in the description bar all the things that I leave uh, that I'm using for my hair this is cute Ooh, nice strong handle like that so yeah so that's the unboxing so let's see what's in here this is where all the real stuff is in here let me open it up Uh, welcome to your air wrap with the code it's a QR code this is the base it seems like nicely wrapped is a um, brush to clean with comes with booklet and getting into the attachments comes with this brush attachment 
this brush attachment. These look like the barrels. comes with this interesting guy. When I saw this, I was like, what is, what is this going to do? But we will see. We will do the tutorials and see. Uh, and the last brush it comes with is this type. So definitely going to be playing with this tonight. Once I finish with my deep conditioner, I will be back and we will play. Yay! Okay, so I'm back. I finished with my deep condition, as you can see. Uh, so I'm going to give a quick rundown of everything that I used. Um, I had gotten in a Sephora box. My order came in. Um, so I had some new goodies to play with. So basically, I kind of started off with... Actually, I started off with this. This was something new that I got and wanted to try. So um, this is actually like a pre-shampoo uh, kind of treatment. So I did this and then I noticed that my scalp was um, in need of some cleansing. It just felt a little, I don't know, it just needed to be freshened up. So I had gotten this a while back. Um, and this is a scalp detox scrub. So I used that. And then I shampooed with... I love anything that's tea tree oil. Uh, I shampooed with this to get a really good clean detox on my scalp. Because it was in need of it. So then I followed it with... Doop, doop, doop. And I will have everything listed below. Um, I love this one. This is the um, black rice one. Uh, I had gotten into making my own rice water at one point, And I really love how rice water's protein really helps my hair. So I love this conditioner. But then I had also gotten this. I wanted to try this. So I was deep conditioning with this one. The number eight. Um, so that's what I finished with. Once I got uh, out the shower, what I put on my hair next was, again, another sample in my Sephora box. This was the leave-in that I was using. And I also wanted to try this. This is from Dove. And um, I'll put it down below. But I wanted to try that, so that's in my hair now. And because I'm going to be blow drying my hair, I went in also with this liquid glass. So, the Dyson Air Wrap is plugged in. I already looked at the video. So, basically, to work it, you turn it on. Sounds like a vacuum. These are your speed settings, your fan settings. And this is your temperature setting. And then this is a poo shot. So, pretty simple. I've already used their brush. So, I'm going to go ahead and section my hair off. And we are going to try this baby out. Okay. So, I like to say that my hair is probably a 3C, 4 egg kind of thing going on here. Um, it can be thick, although my hair strands are actually very thin. And now that I'm getting older, I'm also noticing a lot of grays. And my grays are starting to be in the front part and in my, um, in my uh, edges. That's where my grays like to hang out at. 
but I don't mind grays, honestly. I can't wait to be, wait to be salt and peppered. So, now that we are all sectioned off, I am going to go in with this attachment. So it's basically just a click on situation. Lock in, not going anywhere. There's a lock in button back there. And let's start, let's go all the way. My hair needs heat, so we're going all the way and seeing what this thing can do. on a little pop of air. It almost feels like there's a suction going on, but it's not because it is an airflow. Okay, so this thing is extremely interesting. Um, I work a regular nine to five where I am an electrical engineer uh, by my career and by degree. Uh, so this is intriguing me on how this works. I might actually go to the website and kind of look at the technology. I keep hearing a little poof, poof, poof. Uh, I'm not sure if that's kind of just the attachment where maybe air might be right here or if it's doing some kind of suction. It almost sounds like it's doing a suction, but when I put it up to my hair, I see that the hair is moving like there's an airflow. So I don't know if that's it, but it's very interesting. Um, it didn't feel like it got hot until my hair started to get dry. Then I noticed it was kind of like hot on my hand. But up until then, it didn't feel hot. But I noticed that my hair, you know, was starting to get, you know, dry. So to me, this isn't bad. I mean, as far as getting my hair dry, um, not bone straight dry, um, as I could kind of get with maybe a regular dryer. But it feels nice and healthy and thick so we'll keep going and we'll see all right let's keep going So right here you see me struggling with this attachment. I couldn't really figure it out so I ended up putting it down and grabbing the other brush attachment um, and continuing the rest of my hair with this one. take too long I like the way my hair feels it feels I can't describe it it feels nice and thick not dried out not fried just nice with still some moisture even though we just did the blow dry 
So, next test is, yes, the curl. So, we'll have to come back to this one. This one gave me a little bit of a challenge. Come back to that one. But there's two. There's this one and this one. I think I want to try this one because it's longer. And I feel safer with this one. So we're going to try that one. Okay, locked in. Let's get the hair situated into something of something. Something of something. And we are going to see what happens. I don't know if this is a good place to start. Probably not. But we're gonna start. We will start. Alright, so direction. We'll see. Right, the first one. a curl. It's definitely not the curl I want, but I see a curl. So it's looking like I'm going to have to flat iron my hair first to get the curl I want. Definitely going to need a flat iron the hair first before we start to curl it with this. But it did give me a good start as far as drying my hair without over drying it. So let's go flat iron and we'll come back. Okay, I'm back. My memory card ended up getting full so I had to stop the video. But it gave me a chance to play with the air wrap um, on one side so that I now know a little bit more about how I'm going to use this thing. So my, like I said I've already um, flat ironed my hair. I put some oil in it so this is what it looks like in its flat iron state. So I have the direction I believe I have the direction where I want it to go. It might be different now that I'm switching sides. High heat, high on the um, on the fan, and I'm going to take a section. And what I kind of found with this is to kind of just get it close, and it will kind of do the rest. See? doing a cold shot and now turn it off and there goes a curl so one thing I've noticed about this is not going to change the texture of your hair and what I mean by that is 
my hair as you can see it's not very silky straight that you might get with a metallic or a metal um, curling iron or a straightener well it's straightened but definitely with a curling iron oh it's starting to rain but um so you see how it still is kind of in a almost like a blown dry state because this is just how my hair kind of gets when I flat iron it really quickly um and so it's not going to give it that silky straight uh type of texture when I curl it um which I kind of like if you're looking for that voluminous kind of curl now I don't really wear my hair out that much so what I did was did a little demonstration over here with my wig that, that I'm currently wearing. This is Becky. Everyone say hi to Becky. And so I did a little piece here and I'll take another piece to show you. But um, so you see how this hair texture is already that silky straight. So when I make the curl, the curl is going to still be silky straight. It's still going to be silky straight. So you see how, sure if you can see, see how it's going to still be a silky straight curl, but it still gives a beautiful curl. So I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited about that because I wear this wig mostly more so than my hair. So, but I wanted to finish this out just to kind of show you how to work it. And again, I'm just taking a section. Hit it with a little spray, to some. Now I did notice that it gets a little hot up against the scalp, so that's something to take note of. Let's see if I can make this a little tighter. Okay. So this is kind of the look that it's going to give voluminous looking curls well voluminous looking hair at least <laughs> my hair is not going to be able to hold the curls that well just because my hair is not it, um, that thick so but I'll come back and do another demonstration on one of my wigs and you'll be able to definitely see how good the curls come out with this thing because these over here look really nice. 
It's just this is how my hair is. Unless it is burning hot, scare straight almost, scare curled, that's my hair. So this is me the next day wearing my everyday wig. I was getting ready to go out, so I wanted to curl my hair and show y'all how the air wrap works on weave hair. as you can see here I started to use too much hair and it started to get kind of wrapped around the top knob part but that was just user error use smaller pieces of hair and that won't happen notice with using the air wrap that it never really got hot in the bathroom there was none of that steam or smoke that you would get when you're using a curling iron or when you're blow drying your hair so that I really like about the air wrap is that it does not use a lot of heat at all and here is the finished look overall I am loving the curls and it wasn't a lot of heat on the hair, so very minimal hair damage. All in all, I'm liking my new tool.